So, I've owned a moon swatch for over a month now, and well, I think it's bad. Here are five watches that are unquestionably better value for money that will still get you a nod of respect from watch enthusiasts. So, why is it bad? Well, it comes down to the build quality. It's a bioceramic case, aka full plastic. The crystal is also plastic, and the movement is a cheap ETA quartz option. The moon swatch also has plenty of unhappy customers with cases of the watch breaking, failing, and well, just being generally poor. The only reason this watch is demanding above retail price on the secondary market is simply supply and demand issues. People want to own a watch that says Omega on the dial and this is the only brand new piece offering that for under a couple of grand. But just for a second, let's pretend that the word Omega isn't visible. What are we left with? A cheap plastic watch that offers terrible value for money. So instead of buying a moon swatch, save yourself the cues, headache and disappointment by picking up any of these next five watches. Let's jump into it. So first, I'd like to give a quick honourable mention to the Seagull 1963. It's without a doubt an anomaly at this price point, being the only mechanical chronograph you can get under around $500. The only reservation I have with the 1963 is the fact that it's somewhat disposable. When the movement needs a service or it just breaks, it doesn't make financial sense to have the watch repaired, making it a less attractive option, at least for me anyway. Combine that with the occasional poor quality control and the lack of customer service, the Seagull 1963 is beautiful but just doesn't quite make the cut today, but it's without a doubt a very good alternative to the moon swatch. Okay, here are my top five recommendations. Let's kick things off with a super Seiko chronograph. The Seiko SSB401P1 is a racing style chronograph that is unbelievable value for money. With Seiko being one of the most respected watch brands in the world, you still get that brand recognition when compared with the moon swatch. The watch has a classic black and white color scheme typical with this style of chronograph. As always with Seiko, we see plenty of detail on the dial, making the watch look way more expensive than the price tag indicates. We have a full stainless steel construction with a larger chronograph pusher at the two o'clock for more tactile function. This allows for an impressive 100 meters of water resistance, meaning the watch is fully waterproof. We see an applied Seiko logo and the hands filled with plenty of Seiko's famous Lumi Bright Loom. The movement powering this ticker is the trusted in-house Seiko 8T63. This is a mecha quartz movement, combining the reliability of quartz with the function and feel of a mechanical chronograph. This is mainly seen with the smooth sweep of the chronograph set second hand. The strap supplied is a seat belt style NATO which is head and shoulders better than the one supplied with the moon swatch. It also fits the aesthetics of the watch very well. When it comes to the wearing dimensions we're looking at a 41mm case diameter, 12mm thickness and a 48mm lug to lug, meaning the watch should look good on any size wrist. So when we compare the Seiko with the moon swatch there's only one clear winner. The movement is miles better, the watch is filled with detail and the build quality is worlds apart. The Seiko chronograph will last a lifetime looking stylish and being the one and only chronograph you'll ever need. The Seiko Chrono comes in at around $200, making it not only better in every single way than the Moon Swatch, but also cheaper too. So next, we're going to be going with something that is often considered as an original Speedmaster alternative. Therefore, it also makes sense to consider it with the Moon Swatch too. The Belova Lunar Pilot, like the Omega, is a genuine Moon Watch. The story goes, astronaut Dave Scott's Speedmaster failed when the crystal popped off. Luckily, in his personal items, he brought along a bull of a watch that was also in contention to being the mission issued watch. The Speedmaster won the contest, but still, the bull of a watch made it to the moon and has this fantastic story. Skip forward and like all other watch brands, bull of a reissued the Lunar Pilot watch, looking very similar in design to its original and also the Omega Speedmaster. One special thing about this watch is the movement inside. Bull of a uses a descendant of its famous Accutron technology, a highly accurate quartz movement that visually moves unlike any other chrome. In terms of design, it looks very similar to the Omega Speedmaster in layout and shape, even opting for the same muted black and white colour scheme. We see the use of a scratch-proof sapphire crystal and a sandblasted steel case. The water resistance is only 50 metres here though, so I would avoid getting this one wet. The biggest downside of the Bulliver is the wearing dimensions, coming in with a 45mm case diameter, a 14mm thickness and a 53mm lug-to-lug. -lug. The watch only works on large-sized wrists. I personally think that if this watch was small, smaller, it would be a staple in almost every watch collection. The reason this one is such a good alternative to the Moon Swatch is simple. If you like the story and look of the Speedmaster and that's what's attracting you to the Moon Swatch, then this is an amazing option. This is a genuine Moon Swatch with the history to back it up. Now, this watch does cost double the Moon Swatch, but I do think in terms of quality and heritage, it's more than double the watch. So this next pick is under $100, but still outperforms the Moon Swatch in every way. The 
Accurist Retro Racer is a unique looking chronograph that visually looks premium. Accurist is a lesser known watch manufacturer that has plenty of history and heritage. We have a full stainless steel construction with a 50 meter water resistance. We see a sunburst blue dial with orange and white accents. The squared case design is rather unique, not seen on many modern chronographs. The watch comes with a mesh bracelet that suits the aesthetics of the watch so well. If you aren't a fan of the mesh, then this watch will look amazing on almost any strap. For me, the orange hands really make the dial pop and add an eye-catching detail that makes the watch stand out in a collection. The heart powering this retro racer is the Japanese Myota OS21 Quartz movement, similar in spec to that powering the Immune Swatch, costing less than half the price. Although the case does look large, it fits almost any size wrist. Featuring a 40mm case diameter, 11mm thickness and a 46.5mm lug to lug. So, costing $150 less than the Moon Swatch, the Accurist Retro Racer still beats the Swatch offering in every way. Considering this watch is less than $100, this could genuinely be your beta chronograph and you don't have to feel guilty if it scratches up. When we compare durability of the watches, that's when it becomes clear that the Moon Swatch is terrible value. The full steel construction, mineral crystal and higher water resistance means that the cheaper Retro Racer will outlast the Moon Swatch by years. This next pick is a brand new release that looks ultra slick. The Q-Timex Chronograph is a perfectly sized, well-designed chrono that's clearly vintage inspired and hits all of the spots. Featuring a full stainless steel construction with 50 meters of water resistance, we see a sporty case design reminiscent of the T so PRX and other high-end sports watches. We have a black dial and bezel with three cream subdials. The large Q logo at the 12 o'clock looks great and is reminiscent of the Rolex crown logo that we usually see at the 12 o'clock. It's clear the Q Timex Chrono takes inspiration from the Rolex Daytona, Omega Speedmaster and other high-end vintage chronographs. The watch even comes with a great bracelet that matches the visual experience very well. Inside the Q we see the Epson YM12A quartz movement. This is a movement manufactured by the respected Orient brand, producing reliable movements for decades. Now this watch comes with great wearing dimensions, 40mm case diameter, 13mm thickness and a 47mm lug to lug, meaning it will look great on almost any size wrist. The Q-Timex Chronograph comes in at around $240, meaning it's a direct competitor to the Moon Swatch, being almost identical in price. However, that's where the similarities end. From top to bottom, the Q wipes the floor with the Moon Swatch. Visually, I think the Timex looks better whilst also outperforming in the spec department too. This watch more than any other on today's list just shows how terrible value for money the Moon Swatch actually is. Full steel, great bracelet, beautiful design, great sizing, better functionality, the list goes on. For the same money, you hands down get a miles better watch that will last so much longer. So here's my number one pick for the best watch to buy instead of the Moon Swatch. If you don't know Dan Henry watches, then get to know. They produce a range of vintage inspired chronographs that are all hands down better than the Moon Swatch. If you want a watch that looks similar to the Speedmaster, then the Dan Henry 1962 is the one to go for. It looks similar in design and K-shape to the Speedy, but still having some originality without being a tasteless homage. However, that is not the model that I am recommending. The best Dan Henry chronograph for me is the Dan Henry 1972. When we look at value for money, this watch might just be the best chronograph under $500. The main reason I've gone for this one as my top pick is because the dial has a similar look in colour and design to that of the Speedmaster without being a direct homage to it. Instead, it's a homage to a vintage Porsche design watch made famous in the Tom Cruise Top Gun movie. Featuring an all black dial with white details, full sandblasted stainless steel case with a top tier bracelet and clasp, this watch is feature packed with the movement being used. The Myota OS 80 is a workhorse packed with complications, featuring a full chronograph with a tenth of a second timing, a 12 hour indicator, an alarm function, and a date window at the three o'clock. This movement is miles better than the one found in the Moon Swatch. We also see the use of a scratch proof sapphire crystal and 50 meters water resistance. This watch wears well with a 41 millimeter case diameter, a 13 millimeter thickness, and a 46 millimeter lug to lug. This watch should work on any size wrist. For me, this is the definitive best alternative to the Moon Swatch. You get a much better movement and build quality while still maintaining the look of an all black chronograph. You also get the story of the Top Gun Link, which is always cool to have. The Dan Henry 1972 retails for around $350, making it slightly more expensive than the Moon Swatch, but for me, it's about 10 times the watch. If you want to see some more suggestions around the same price as the Moon Swatch, check out my video here on the best watches under $250.